One of my favorite things to eat is shawarma. It's usually made with marinated chicken, lamb, or beef that's kind of stacked on a spit. It's roasted really slowly until it's like caramelized and the meat's really juicy. But I think my new favorite version is a vegetarian dish at a new place called Mayfield in San Juan Capistrano. This is the cauliflower shawarma at Mayfield, and this is what we're into. What is Mayfield? Tell me about the restaurant. Mayfield is an all-day concept, so we're open from 10 through till late in the evening. Um, the inspiration is drawing on the flavors of the Middle East and Mediterranean, especially the Levant region, uh, but doing it in a Californian style, so sourcing local seasonal produce, um, and we kind of want people to eat in a shared plate concept, so small plates and, and enjoy the meal together. And why did you guys decide on that type of food, that style? Personally, it's the food I love to eat, eat and enjoy. Uh, and then for Hiro, it's the food he's been cooking for years. I love to cook it, so. And okay, let's talk about this cauliflower shawarma. How did you guys come up with that dish? Uh, we took a lot of inspiration from classic shawarma and donor and um, kebabs, right from the Levant region as well. So we thought about it in the sense of how can we incorporate that here, but make it very like vegetable forward into utilizing what surrounds us in California. And one of the big ones that I personally love is cauliflower. It was just an idea that fits so well as a vessel for as much flavor as we were trying to incorporate. And it was something, a vegetable that was versatile enough and familiar enough with everybody that it wouldn't scare anybody away. The dish itself, it's, uh, we start off by toasting all of our spices in house. We make all of our spice mixes and then we also sell some of them off in the market as well so if anybody's interested in picking that up as well and that gets marinated with the cauliflower for two days before it even begins roasting for the service itself and then we'll roast them high to just like develop a lot of like the char flavor and then we finish them off on the grill just to char off a lot of the tips and what about so what are some of the spices that you're using so a lot of the spices in there are like turmeric cayenne coriander cumin uh, ginger. Don't give them all away. <laughs> Keep some back. A couple. And then okay, a couple. <laughs> Keep some secrets. But let, can you show everyone Let's your turmeric hands? I just love that. Yeah. This is what happens so when you they start to. <laughs> when you from cook rubbing all those cauliflowers. Yeah. 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 Nice. Okay. And also, what's so great about the dish are the condiments that come with it, the, the sauces. What do you guys serve with the cauliflower? Yeah. So we use uh, pomegranate molasses from Just Eat as well as sum tahini, which is my personal favorite. Uh, we make a sauce out of that, and that just adds a nuttiness and as well as a sour note and like a sweetness to the cauliflower, so it's not just all spice as well. Clearly this is like the star of the table. When it comes to the table, it's not like a vegetable side dish. So I feel like a lot of people during quarantine, including me, forgot what a vegetable was, and it was just like pizza, pizza, pizza. Pizza is the only thing possible that you could eat during quarantine, so this is nice that it is something that celebrates the great uh, produce we have in SoCal. Well, you know what, I don't even actually, I take that back, you don't even need the knife. Just like. You get all the different spices especially the turmeric, which gives it that really nice yellow color. It's very earthy and savory. It tastes like there's also some cinnamon in here. <laughs> One of my favorite things about shawarma is that you can like layer it with all the condiments and you have the bikini and garlic sauce and like pickles, but this is such a composed dish on its own with all of that. In the sauces, you get nice acid um, and the like nuttiness of the tahini and the sweetness of the pomegranate syrup. So good. It's a little crunchy on the outside too. And perfectly, perfectly tender in the middle. If you guys have a favorite vegetarian version of the meat dish, or if you just have a favorite vegetarian dish, I would like to know about it. So please comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.